Hello. I'm sure you remember last week's problem of an oscillating rod. I have here a rod of which the length is much, much larger than the diameter, than the radius. And we were oscillating it at the very end, like this. And the question was, what is the period of this oscillation? And I mentioned that the basic idea of solving a problem like this is all in my lecture number 21 of 801. Today, the next problem is substantially harder. We're now going to oscillate not about this point, not about the end, but I made a hole here, somewhere. And now we're going to oscillate it like this. And now I will explain in more detail what I'm asking from you. So, let us look at what I wrote on the wall here. So this is the solution of last week's problem. We're oscillating the rod from this endpoint P. We use small angle approximation. So this angle B, small angle approximation. We set up the general equation that I also put on the video and I explained in detail this solution, so I will not go over that again. I have here moment of inertia, angular acceleration, torque, all about point P. And then I get a differential equation of which the solution is a simple harmonic oscillation. Small angle approximation so that the sine of B can be replaced by B. If the angle is small, then the sine of the angle is very closely the same as the angle in radians. Try this. Try 5 degrees, try 10 degrees. And we found finally that this was the period of oscillation about that point P here. Now comes this week's problem. Much harder. Same rod, same length L, same mass capital M, same gravitational acceleration G. But now we are going to oscillate it at a point which is not the end. And I call the distance from the end to point P, I call that X. And the question now that I have for you, are there any points X between the center of mass and the end for which the period of oscillation is exactly the same as it was when I oscillated about point P? So I'm not asking you what is the period of oscillation for any value of x. No, I only want to know are there other points between the center of mass and the end for which the period of oscillation is the same as this. And then I want you to tell me what are those values of x, if there are any. And of course you have to give me some reasoning for your answer. Again, small angle approximation. Okay, this problem is substantially harder than the one we did last week. If you have problems with the one of last week, don't even touch this one, or at the very least, look at the solutions that I posted last week, the solutions of this problem that may help you.
Okay? So once more, are there any values of x, and you express them of course in terms of the total length of the rod, so are there any values of x for which the period of oscillation about point P is the same as the period if I oscillated the rod from the end point. Tell me how many points there are, if there are any, and what the values then are of that value x. All right? It's a tough one, believe me. It's not so easy. Good luck. Yes, yes, of course, we're still friends. That goes without saying. Have a nice day. Take care. Uh, I will post the solutions probably oh, within a week, maybe five days. That depends. All right. Good luck.